Can you raise your hand if you think alcohol is a problem in this area? So everybody. Yeah. Alcohol, to me, is always a, 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 a necessity. My first wife is my dear. We are winning this war against uh, the illicit brews. There's been a crisis in central Kenya that we've had several cases of uh, men who've had their private parts chopped off by their wives because of alcohol. So one of the stories you've asked BBC Pop-Up to film is about the illicit alcohol issues that Kenya's facing. So we've come here to Nyeri, which is an area about two hours north of Nairobi, to try and find out what the problem is, what effect it's having, and what's being done to fix it. Now we are suffering. We are suffering a lot. I have only one son, and I'm fearing that son will, will just get into that beer. You said alcohol is very cheap, it makes you intoxicated quickly at a lesser cost. So it was very much popular. It has ruined my life because I had planned to do other things. My house is also unfinished. So I also got injured. I got injuries in my body. I got my heart broken because of alcohol. Personally, I've lost uh, many uh, colleagues who are actually indulging in this um, consumption of this illicit brew. So it's a serious, serious issue. There are a couple of men who've been attacked by the women who've chopped off their genitalia because. Uh, of issues related to them tend, uh, drinking a lot of alcohol. If you stay like, uh, with something you are not using, then you, you, feel, you feel that it's of no use. You remove it. Mm. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so this this part goes behind like that. And this one comes in between. So you bring it up that way. And then you clasp it on the side. This one comes on the on the side like that way. That way. But this is a much this is much smaller for me. We're going to make a much bigger size. It's, it's, it's not a joke. It's, it's actually it's not a joke. When, when, I, when I was doing this thing, I was really serious. If, if a man is becoming unimportant because of alcohol, he, he, he doesn't have to lose his, his private parts all the same because it's a very painful to, situation, to, something very painful to, uh, thing to go through. So I decided the best thing, let me make a steel underwear. And whether they can, they can secure it, so if they come home drunk, they can put it on. Because most of the time, when they, they have their private parts chopped off, is when they're asleep. So although to some people elsewhere, they may see the alcohol problem here as a little bit of a joke, it's actually still a serious business and the police are still going out, still raiding and still burning the alcohol when they find it. In fairness, that seems to be a strategy that's working because we've not been able to find anyone who's still brewing. Is this the end of the problem, do you think? No, we have to sustain. It's not an event, it's a process. We are coming up with the rehabilitation centers. Some will need a lot of counseling, but we know for sure this is a war that we are, we are already winning. 
With the government reducing the illicit brews, I've now been able to reduce my drinking. And I hope we continue that way so that I can now start new projects and be able to finish them.